Hey guys, today I'm starting my benchmark tests on the uh, hard drive so we can uh, look at the speeds on the SSDs and compatibility. Um, one correction I have to make on this video when I mentioned uh, in a previous video I was going to run this benchmark. I thought that this machine had the Vertex 3 drive in it. It was actually a Vertex 2. So I, I kind of wish I had a Vertex 3 on hand to bench with it but uh, this might be helpful to some people that have the older Vertex 2 to see what the difference is between that and the newest ones. Our first preliminary benchmark here, this is just kind of to uh, set the standard so we know what we're looking at. And this is on this uh, Western Digital. This is just a 250 gig SATA drive, nothing fancy, um, typical cheapy hard drive, just to see what our speeds would be on that. Clean install of Windows 7 and it looks like our speeds are just under about 57,000 on read and write. So let's look at the SSD drive and see what that does. Got our benchmarks on the uh, Vertex 2. Uh, looks like on, let's see, that would be read speeds, 28.3. Um, looks like about the highest there that I can see, about 283,000 on uh, read speeds. And it looks like about 21, 2, oh, there's a 25, 24. It looks like we maxed out at about 25 or 257,000 on right, um, but actually more of a consistence of closer to 21,000, let's call it, on the right speeds with a max peak of almost 26. So let's try one of our uh, Vertex 4 drives and see how that works. Okay, one thing I just wanted to mention here, actually a couple things I wanted to mention. First off is um, on that Vertex 2, I did upgrade that to the latest firmware. I believe that was 1.3.7, and I will do the same with the Vertex 4s. They're going to get the latest firmware before we run the benchmarks. And another thing I wanted to mention quickly is when you do benchmark SSD drives, it does wear on them. Anytime you're reading and writing from them drives, it's going to put some wear on them. And so for that reason, I'm only going to run single tests on these drives because I'm really not looking to crunch on them and uh, wear them out. So if you do decide you want to do some benchmarking at home on your own, uh, your SSD drives, certainly keep that in mind. Try not to benchmark them too much. Um, because it will add uh, some wear and tear to the drive and lose some longevity from it. So, okay, let's switch over to the uh, first Vertec 4. I believe that was a 60 gig or a 64 gig. I'll uh, let you know when I get the box. Okay, on this test, this is the uh, single Vertex 4, 64 gig. Um, we're seeing a, looks like the max read on it is 456,079 and uh, 213,000 on the right. Actually we had a 220 here, 215, 215, 209, 214, another 220. Um, so let's say, well we'll just call 220 for uh, right on that one. Okay this benchmark was done on the uh, a single 128 OCZ Vertex 4. The that one has been upgraded to the 1.5 firmware. I did make a mistake, I realized, when I ran the 64 meg, or 64 gig one. It's a two-part update for the firmware, so I don't believe I had that on the latest 1.5. So I will have to uh, run that one again and get a better score on it. Anyway, our results on this one looks like 551 was our uh, read speeds. Right uh, was 241, we had a 276, 280, 285. Um, looks like up in this range here, we were actually at 398, 388, 384. So we uh, maxed out at almost 400 on the right at uh, 32. And it looks like that 555 is our tops on this one for the read for a single drive. So that's the benchmarks for that one. Okay, on this test run I'm using the Vertex 2 uh, as well as the uh, Vertex 4 64 gig. So it's the Vertex 2 60 gig, Vertex 4 64 gig rated together in RAID 0. Uh, our test results are, looks like we hit a max of about uh, 561. 
2,000 uh, megabytes per second, not too bad. And looks like we peaked at about 462,000 on right. Um, got a lot of 42s, 43s, 44, 43, 43. So let's say about 43, 44,000 or 440,000 on the rights and uh, a max of about 550, 555,000 on the reads themselves.